how thou art fallen, O Lord. From the heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how thou art cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the most high. <laughs> Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake the kingdoms? Boy, ain't that something? We have in this universe tonight a master of the skies. That's what I want to preach about. A lot of folk don't know what they're worshiping in. They don't know what they have become a part of. Because oh, Satan at one time was God's brightest angel in heaven. He watched God. Every move that he made, he watched how he spake. He watched every word that came out of God's mouth. Because it was in his heart all along. To be like the most high. If you would imagine in the spirit realm. You would find that he. Wanted to be God. Because he wanted to take God's throne. But he wanted to be higher than God. Like the church world is today. Like the faith religion is today. It's all about flesh. It's all about exaltment. That's what happened to Satan. The creator that created him, Satan wanted to go higher than God himself. The great creator. In this day and hour, there are more people that are worshiping the creature more than the creator. There's more people trusting in the creature more than the creator. Somebody praise him. Somebody love him tonight. Get with me in the spirit tonight. You'll never receive nothing in, out in the flesh. And if you miss the word of God in these last days, honey, I'm afraid it's going to be it's going to be a hurt to you if you don't get the word and don't get serious with God. Playing games is over. Up and down and in and out is over. Honey, it's time to get real with God. Honey, God has warned us. He has pleaded with us. And he has, uh, and he has offered us everything that we'll ever need in order to help. So what it takes to stand for what's coming on the earth. We live as though there ain't nothing coming. And we, you, no, we, we live, we live and, and as though we believe the word of God as though it's nothing. No, it didn't exist. And nothing that the word said is going to come. We live as though that it ain't even going to happen. Because we're so cold and we're so far away from him. But we still got a form. Right. And the devil's got a form too. Yeah. He knows how to act like God. He knows how to preach. He knows how to sing. He knows how to prophesy. He knows how to speak in tongues. He knows how to do it all. He wants the God of heaven. He is the master of the skies tonight. He is the man that made the earth to tremble. Honey, it's the devil, oh, Lucifer himself. And uh, tonight you will get to look through by the word what the spirit of the Lord has given to me to the things that are happening, that are going on in our universe tonight, in our church world, in our buildings, across this world, you will see a man sitting in there, honey, that was cast down out of heaven. Uh, I, I believe he studied God, he watched God, and he wanted to overthrow the kingdom of God. He wanted to be like the almost high. He wanted to be number one in power. Honey, and he and it was no room left for Lucifer in heaven. So sin was committed in heaven because Satan thought within himself that God exalted by God. And, and, and God exalted within himself. He thought that he would become God himself. I believe that he wanted to overthrow heaven. I believe that he wanted to be the ruler and the reigner of heaven. And but God, and there was no place found for Lucifer anymore. And so Satan was cast out unto the earth. And the Bible said, Woe unto the habitation.
temptation of the earth for the devil is coming down. He's come down among you having great wrath. He knows that he's just got a but, a but a short time uh, to work. I mean, his days are numbered and he knows it. And he knows us that knows who Jesus is. He knows that we know it also. I mean, we're not the seed. We're not left out in the dark. But we know our God. We've been at his table. We have eaten his bread. We have, we have, we have eaten of that lamb. We have eaten of the word of truth. A lot of people are eating, but they're eating everything. But what they need, honey, you need Jesus in this hour. If you don't know Jesus tonight, you're lost. I don't care how churchy you go. I mean, I'm going to tell you, there was one that was cast into this earth, honey, that deceived the nation. He's old Lucifer himself. But we will look around in the body, how that the religious realm, how that they're prospering and how that they're booming. They're coming in their airplanes or jets. The big mega churches, the synagogues, the thousands of people. Honey, I wonder if Jesus is in there. Honey, I'll tell you the biggest part where the truth is. You're just going to find a few people. But oh, Lucifer, the man's going to be sitting there. Well, I don't see him. You can't see the devil. He is a spirit. The only way that you'll see him, you have to see him with the eyes of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You will have to see with Jesus' eyes. You will have to see through the spirit to recognize what you have are partaking of. Somebody's got to tell it. Amen. Somebody's got to preach it. Amen. It ain't everything that hollers, Lord, Lord, that ain't right. It ain't everything that preaches that's of God. That's right. It ain't everything that gives a word that it's God sending it. Right. Uh -huh. yeah, thank Jesus. He practiced it. He watched it. And now tonight in this universe, he's playing the role model of God. Amen. <laughs> He found him a place in this universe and he's called the God of this earth. Amen. He has found him a throne. He has found him a place. He's the God of this world. The word said he was. Ha uh ha. -huh. And the sad part about Jesus folk, most of them don't know the difference. Ha uh ha. -huh. What the hell become a part of? Woo! Somebody praise him. They don't know whether it's the voice of God. Or this one that's in the universe that exalts himself above all that is called of God. That he sit up in the temple and people worship him. And he's trying to take that place. It started in heaven. Amen. He wanted to be God number one. Amen. Wanted to take heaven and everything. Now he's in this universe. And it's sad. Let me tell you something tonight. If you've got the Holy Ghost, you don't have to go ask nobody no question about what I'm preaching tonight, whether it's right. Because the Holy Ghost speaks one way. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. There's one phone and one shepherd and there's name one. If you don't know by the spirit of discernment, which should be in your heart if you're born again, which is the Holy Ghost. It is a deserter. Amen. If you're born again and filled with the Holy Ghost, you want to know what's standing before you. Oh, God. Thank you. You ought to know what's real and what ain't real. You ought to know what's speaking, whether it's God or whether it's man. You got these religious devils. Uh-huh, half-hearted, half-in, half-out, looking for popularity, fortune, and fame. Honey, if you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, you're going to be hated. You're going to be hated, hated, be hated by church folk that said they love God. Honey, the Bible, the Bible's bringing it out. Honey, that's the seed of Satan. They ain't of God, but they're the seed of Lucifer. But if you've got the love of God, you'll love your enemy. Come on, somebody, praise him. It is the love of God. It is the fulfillment of the law. And if you love Jesus more than you do the world, honey, you'll preach the truth. You won't back like a crowd in, but you'll stand, but your shoulders are right back. You'll hold the torch high, and you will not be ashamed 
of his great name. Boy, it's a little hope back there, a little tight in here. The word is staying here in a minute. He'll blow that devil out of here. And if you'll let him, he'll blow him out of you. Ooh. I had a little stirred last night. I didn't care how stirred they got. I mean, when you get on the Holy Ghost, you're ready to cast down the devil that fights against the word. That's why some ain't here tonight. They didn't want the truth. That's why some left the building. They fought against the truth. A lot of them went around and said it was me, but it wasn't me. I mean, it was the self the word. They fit against him. They next kick may be in hell. Hey. If you want to know the truth about it, they didn't leave me. They left God. Amen. Too hard. Hell's going to be hot. You want a little bunny foo foo, go to them the road and get it. You ain't going to get it from me. You'll get what Jesus says. If you want a Humpty Dumpty to sit on the wall, go get your storybook. I've got to preach Jesus. What is Jesus? He's the truth. He's in the Word of God. He's no compromise. He's no game player. He is serious. And he's coming after a serious people. Amen. Honey, game plans is about over. Amen. Your games, your ups and downs, your in and out, that's planned. You may get mad. It takes them getting mad to get the devil out of them. Amen. Oh, somebody. Amen. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't worry about what the neighbor thinks. Honey, don't worry about what word thinks. Honey, God said it. Believe it. Walk it. Tell it. It's high time. People are beating around the bush and compromised like the sons of Eli. They committed whoredom right there at the church of God. They went with the women. They committed adultery. But here's the church committing fornication without belief, with every spirit and doctrine of devil that comes down the road. And now the glory of God has now nearly walked out of the temple. Because no truth no more. No more, no more truth. They want to smooth them. That's right. If you want a smoothie, you'll have to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Jesus don't give smoothies. <laughs> Lord, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Lucifer. Yeah. People don't know the difference between God and Satan. No, they don't. You need to get born again. Amen. Amen. You better get saved. A lot of those revelations in their flesh. That's right. They see him only does know. <laughs> uh, Jim Bob said, there's a lot of truth in that. It's coming out of the flesh because you won't find it in the Word. Amen. Anything that ain't in the Word, if it comes out there telling you God said it, it ain't God. That's flesh. That's the devil himself. That's a spirit of religion. Amen. <laughs> He's a master of disguise. He is. All the folk don't know him. When they run up down the roads and they get in these places where there's many words that are given. That appeases the flesh that satisfies the flesh. Tell them how pleased that God is with them. When they're cold and indifferent and on their way to hell. You tell me that's God. I say nay unto you. Honey, God didn't come to deceive you. He didn't come to lie to you. Here's what he's telling his church. Set your house in order. Oh, somebody praise him. That's what he's telling me. And I know if he's telling me, he's telling you. It's time to get real and get right with God. Quit playing the games. Quit riding the roller coaster up and down, around and around. Be real. Get the power that it's going to take to stand up for what's coming on the world. Got them taught that we ain't gonna be here. Another lie that came out of hell. Amen. <laughs> You're gonna be here if you don't die. Because Jesus ain't gonna never step foot on this earth where I read in the Bible. But there's a many of them preaching that he is, that he's gonna come and walk in Jerusalem in the temple mound, sit in the temple. Carnal, taking the word of the flesh. We've got Jesus' name preachers doing it. <laughs> we do. And here's the world waiting on this one to come. And when he gets here, 
They're going to think it's Jesus yep, yep. because that's what religion told them it was. Amen. When the Word said it's the Antichrist. Amen. That's going to go in the temple and exalt himself above all that is called of God. Sit in the temple and worship like that he is God. Uh -huh. Amen. <sighs> see, people can believe the earth, yeah. but they can't see what God said. They can't understand and believe Amen. what the Spirit said. That's right. All the way you can believe it, you've got to be born of him. Amen. Yeah. You've got to be born of the Spirit. Uh, that's what people need in this day and hour. We got them preaching that ain't born again. We got them running around prophesying that ain't been born again. We got them running around giving words that ain't born again. We got them doing it all that ain't born again. But they say it's God. How do they can it be God if you need your spirit doing it through you? You can't tell the difference anymore. Some of them can't, but I can. And I'm going to let people, I'm gonna, if you're a true watchman, you're going to let the world know what to do with and not what to be a part of. Amen. Woo. Oh, oh, thank if you you're loose, if you don't believe it like the word says, any of you in here, if yeah. somebody asks us me, I'll tell them you to stay away from them. Praise it. I ain't going to put you at a table that's going to feed you poison. I ain't going to point you somebody that's going to give you a cup that is full of poison. What is it that people are getting offered to them in this universe? If it ain't Jesus among it. If it ain't God himself. What is it that they're eating of? Huh? What is it that they're partaking of? It's the one that's playing the role model of God. He tried it. He thought he would take over in heaven, but he was casted out to the earth. So he still did not quit playing God. He knew what he was going to have to do to deceive the world. So he's got to act like him. He's got to sound like him. He's got to talk like him. But he can't feel like him. And he can't tell the truth. He's a liar. He'll tell you, quote you a lot of scriptures. But he will add a revelation that don't that that they ain't in the Bible. He will tell you that there's more than one God. He will he will he will try to act like that. He himself is God. I God is a whole back in here. But that's all right. Honey hell is fixing to get warmed up. It's gonna get warmed up by the power of the word that God is getting ready to put in his body. His people, the deal that are connected to the vine. Honey, they're gonna have the life of God. We're living in a day and a time that people that fight against the truth. They don't want the truth, but they want to shout. They want to have a part, but they have no part. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to let the devil know. I see him. I see what his seed is. Amen. Amen. You see what's sitting in that religious seat. It's more than one snot out your nose. People choose in time when they come to serve God on their terms and conditions when they get ready. You ain't safe. Amen. Oh. Amen. I'm going to tell you. Thank you, Jesus. We have people that will get out and they'll commit things. And they'll run in the house. Lord, they done wrong. Sorrowful greed in the flesh. Tears coming out. Because they done something wrong. They ain't getting saved. That's pity of the flesh. The only true way that you can get saved, number one is, is you're going to have to be sorry for your sin. Amen. You're going to have to have a broken and a contrite spirit. Amen. Then God's going to have to reach after you. Amen. It's going to have to be his spirit that deals with it. If he don't reach you, you sure can't find him. I know way, no how. People said, I did. I'm crazy then. Honey, there ain't but one way. And he's got it set up. It's a straight way. If he don't reach you, honey, you ain't been God. Amen. Yeah, but he said he'd never leave me or forsake me. No, but he did say that we believe him. And he ain't going to stay where darkness is. He ain't going to stay where you got more heart for the world 
they need to heal. Honey, he don't mix up. You can't make him mix up. Honey, you get you really get the Holy Ghost. He'll set you free from the lust of the flesh. Amen. All the things of lust of the flesh is going out here committing adultery with the woman or getting drunk. Commit the lust of the flesh also means honey when anything comes between you and God, it's sin. Ooh, somebody praise you. I'm gonna shout it on the housetop. What about you? Amen. Hallelujah. Judgment begins at the house of God. We'll be here to hear you no more. Thank you. We'll have a bunch of devils you have to deal with either. I don't care no more. I don't care no more. I love Jesus more than I do anybody. Amen. Flesh ain't going in. Religion ain't going in. But religion getting ready to get set on my hill. Amen. Yes, it is. But there is a, there is a master of disguise in this universe that most church folk don't even realize what they have become a part of. We got it even in the Jesus name real. They're going by the, the suiting of the flesh, the coach heels, and, the, and, and that thing that, that runs all over the flesh, which is a drilling that you can feel in a ball game. You can feel it in a hokey toe. You can feel it when something spooks you. It's a drilling. Honey, that ain't the Holy Ghost. The, the Holy Ghost comes uh, with power. It comes uh, with the word of the name of Jesus. Honey, all power will be sent through. He'll give you power to walk over the devils. He'll give you powers over all the powers of the enemy, Amen. which is your flesh. Amen. People can't tell me that the Holy Ghost can't keep them. Amen. The Holy Ghost will keep you Amen. if you get it. Amen. You won't throw God down like that right there to go do your thing. No. I'm sick and tired of that religious lie. Amen. No count good for nothing, evil devil. I'm going to reveal it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let the church see what the Satan see is. God allowed me to see. Why? So I can heal up. Amen. It ain't hard yet. It ain't hard yet. It ain't hard. People think the word of God is hard. The way of a transgressor is hard. Amen. Somebody trying to be half in, but they're all the way out, but they're trying to act like they're That's in. Right. The heart ain't in. That's right. That's a transgressor. It is going to be hard on you. You better thank God that it is. Because he didn't come to deceive you. He come to set your record straight. Amen. 